the uh, Warwickville Fire Brigade for bringing it down. The Austin and the CFA ran a heap of these to pump up and a front mounted pump as you can see on the front that would couple up to the main. The ladder on the side, the crew would sit out here in the heat, the rain, no rocks, no nothing. You would leap on as it was driving along. You would leap off and pull hose out as the truck drove down the street. It was a whole lot of fun back then, before Slater and Gordon and Morris and Blackburn. <laughs> the Willie's Jeep. Now these were around quite a lot in the CFA. And uh, the Willie's Jeep, they, uh, they were in a lot of the smaller brigades, but a lot of the hilly brigades, such as Danfield, Colney, and areas like that had a Willie's Jeep. And in fact, there's the old Colney. Willie's Jeep over there, a bit of a story to that. It was rackled by the brigade to raise money. At one stage, it was still a CFA appliance and they rackled it. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of rebellion back in the 70s. But the Willie's, 200 gallons, uh, bridge and track and pump on the back, and uh, they were quite a good unit. The Compton Swerve, and this is owned by uh, Pat and uh, Ian Wilson. Now, I've got a bit of a street on this. It was an Austin truck. And this is how they invented the slow motion replay on getting to a fire. You owned an Austin. And uh, they vaporised on a very, very hot day. Compton flooded in the winter and they wouldn't go out of the station. <laughs> uh, having grown one of these in our regard, this truck was purchased by the CFA in 1970 on the 11th of February and was at the Queenscliff Brigade. And that uh, spent 14 years there and uh, was sold at the Ballarat CFA sales in 1989. It has had two owners since then and spent time uh, at around a few places and has ended up in the hands of at Ian, and look at it, it's immaculate, the mighty BMC Austin. And she turned out well, the CFA, there were hundreds of these around the uh, country Victoria, and they were one of the main staples of CFA appliances, God knows why. <laughs> and thank you for bringing it up. Judy Baker coming through here. It's military version, Shitty Baker Dodge, they all look very, very similar. Left hand drive, all wheel drive machine, get out as a fire truck there. And a lot of these trucks found their way into this sort of thing throughout a lot of the country and regional areas uh, throughout Victoria. A lot of them ended up as private tankers and secondary tankers, tanker B or tanker 2 back then and a lot of these trucks were used in that uh, sort of service and uh, around all sorts, well as I say, right throughout Victoria a lot of these trucks found their way into firefighting duty and uh, great to see it here as well. The International, the D-Series and let me tell you, the 1610 was a stalwart of the CFA running a six-cylinder petrol engine and uh, the Country Fire Authority again had hundreds of these. These trucks really came in and replaced a lot of the oxen and uh, were around, uh, around the fringe of Melbourne and right throughout the regional Victoria. And as I say, they were very, very simple to maintain. They were a bulletproof. They didn't have the vaporisation problems of the uh, oxen. And uh, they carried a good size water and they could go most places, even as a two-wheel drive, in a good operator's hands, they could go just about anywhere. The Deutsch coming along behind the ladder truck out of the MSB, stationed at 101. It was one of the biggest or the biggest ladder truck in Melbourne at the time, and there was no slater in Gordon and Morris and Blank. On the end of the uh, ladder there at about 200 feet up. Apparently, according to my ex father in law, it would sway about nine feet because he was one of the people who was on it. He said on a really windy night, he would be absolutely rocking and rolling. No harm. Standing on a little fall down platform. Could you imagine the LA Cadet officer now? He had a coroner in, they'd be calling for a run. Yeah, Graham Micah. So the joint safer and scrap yard in the loft was about to be scrapped and uh, has been got going again and now lives down here looking back at the way. 
And what a great thing to see. The noise, look at the land side, the uh, land that they used to put up and extend up to the tip of the land. So you can see when you were shooting up, it's about to fall over the edge of the cliff, I suppose. 